why I do what I do. Um, I've been only in the business three years and three months, to be exact. Um, so, just to take you a quick walkthrough of my journey, how I came to the U.S., why I got into this business, how I build my team, how I grow my team, uh, how I build with my brand in these three years. Uh, I'm still pretty new in this business. Uh, and I have to tell you, this business is a really, really challenge. Um, but first, Happy New Year. Uh, today is actually the second New Year in Vietnamese. In Vietnam, when we have a New Year, we actually take 14 days off from work. So uh, you should all move to Vietnam. <laughs> so I'm going to actually teach you how to say Happy New Year in Vietnamese. Because we just all sit here, so we need some kind of audience, you know, engagement here, guys, right? So I'm going to teach you how to say it, okay? So we're going to say Chúc Mừng Năm Mới. Okay, you got it? Okay. <laughs> So here, Tuan, come up here. Tuan is the only one that speaks perfect Vietnamese. So in our team. So Tuan is from the north, and I usually call him communist. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I am actually from the south. So we're gonna have a, like a two dialogue, north and south. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be on the right side, and you're gonna be on the left, and we're gonna see who wins. Okay. Love it. So here. You want to win? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, guys. We have big success. Okay. Okay. So we're going to say, Chúc Mong Nam Mới. Okay, we're going to say all at the same time, okay? Chúc Mong Nam Mới. Okay, one more time. Louder, guys. Chúc Mong Nam Mới. Okay, you pull up. That was weak. <laughs> oh, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, what? Cho? Cho? Bơ? 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 Nam? Nam? Mới? Mới? You guys got that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's say it together. Cho? Cho? Bơ? Nam? Mới? One more time. Louder. A lot louder, okay? Cho? Cho? Bơ? Nam? Mới?
Well, that's my life's childhood. That's how all my family. My mom, she has eight kids total. She never been to to school. Actually, I don't. My dad too. I don't think she actually ever. I actually recall my parents have been yeah, have any kind of education. I was grown up uh, really, really poor. I never been to college in Vietnam. I never been to high school actually. I never stepped into a classroom in Vietnam. I never feel what it like to be in a classroom. I never have a picture of my child grown up because we were so damn poor that picture was something else. And this is me. In 2013, I graduated from Columbia University. He's, 
he think that he need to have college degree to get a real estate license? I'm like, no. What if I can help you? What if I study for you? And we study together and we get our license. And then he said, okay. So I told him, if you're gonna do this, there are one thing that you have to do for me. If not, you get the hell off my life. <laughs> and he said, what it is? I told him, you either in or out. You're gonna have to sell all the truck that you owe. You're gonna quit driving and you're gonna focus and you're gonna put your ass to work. <laughs> and he said, okay. So this man, this crazy man took my advice went to work with me and got a real estate license. He finally thought I was the devil. His mom said, you are the craziest man ever by listening to that lady. Well, this is his YouTube. That is how we started the, what we call the La Chinita team. The La, Chinita, the La Chinita team is basically a name that the Hispanic community have given to me because they thought I was Chinese. But I wasn't Chinese, I'm Vietnamese. But the thing is that it's okay because it's self. So I took it anyway. So, number one, this is the first rule. You have to break some rules. So in life, I remember when I started my real estate, it, I spent almost every single day door knocking. Do you know how fast I can door knock? I can actually knock out a hundred homes in two hours. That's how fast I door knock when I first started real estate. This is me last year. I was still door knocking in Kern, in a very ghetto neighborhood. It's okay. <laughs> you know? And I was sick, I was feeling like I was thrown up, but I still do it anyway. When I actually started real estate, me and Rick, we did role play every single day. And you know what, he was tough, he was beating my ass off. And I was like, it's okay, that's what it is. People were slamming on my door. People would say, go back to your country. There was even agent that say, I do not understand what you say. And I'm like, okay, bitch, it's okay. <laughs> Society. 
Last year, we actually partnered with the Latino radio station to give out a thousand flu shot for people who cannot afford shot. And one of the things that we were doing is we said, okay, as a real estate agent, we go to home a lot every single day. Have you guys seen the bathroom, the toilet in some of your client home? It's disgusting, <laughs> right? So we said, okay, what would be a really, really fun gift? So we actually gave this toilet for the winner at the flu shop. And they actually took it and went on. So you see, you have to have some fun. But anyway, I know the net say my time is up. So one of the things, the last thing I want to leave with you behind here is that you can leave here today and you can decide to be continue who you are. Or you can leave today and you can decide that today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to break some rule. I'm going to do things that is actually difficult so I can achieve the thing that other people are, cannot achieve. And I'm going to, oh, sorry. And, and I'm going to actually give back once you get to the top, learn how to give back and have fun. Thank you so much. Lou, that was amazing. Wow, great job. She is perfect in English, a little French. And, uh, I, I'm a little worried about what we all just screamed there, possibly, at the end of the end. But we all believe you're going to be the number one Asian in the world. So great job. Woo! Hey, we are so, uh, so fortunate to have Stephen Lippman with us here today. He works as a peak performance strategist with the Tony Robbins team. And the ideals, philosophies of Tony Robbins are so in line with what we're doing here at Everest, uh, with George, uh, everything. I know there's a huge group in this. If you haven't been to an event, I know everyone in this room is listening uh, to Tony Robbins. So, so many great things. In fact, our leadership team is now enrolled in the Business Mastery Coaching, which we had our first session just a couple of weeks ago. Just phenomenal stuff happening. And so we are fortunate to have him here about a month and a half before the event. And I'm going to turn the time over to Stephen.